Hi everybody, it's Nancy here again. And uh, I've been busy this morning. We have ice here. So I can't uh, go outside and do anything. So we're going to lose power sometime today. I'm sure we usually do. So it's no big surprise, but we have a gas fireplace, so we'll be all right. I just hope and pray everybody out there is all right also. Okay, so here's what I... Hold on, my dog's crying. Hold on. Ginger. Wanna go with Daddy? Okay. So this morning, I was making molds out of these two little frames. I bought them at uh, Hobby Lobby. And uh, they're gold, and I don't like the gold, but um, I like them to make a mold with. So I made molds, and then I needed some fillers for my tree. And then my tree will be done. Maybe i show it to you today also. I'm not sure yet. Um, so uh, with the molds I made from these, I made little picture frames and uh, printed off some images from the internet. And this is what I've made. I just um, gessoed the frame after I baked it, of course. And then I used this stuff. I've got this at, uh, I think, Walmart. <laughs> My grandson is looking through the window, scaring me. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I bought this at Walmart. It's not very good, but it's good enough for the little frames. I don't know if you, you probably won't be able to see the glitter. Okay. And all the little images I got off the internet. And I thought about uh, glossy accenting the inside, but I don't know if I would like it glossy or matte. What do you guys think? Let me know. What do you think? To leave it matte or go ahead and put glossy accents in there. And then I just use little flowers. These little peach ones are actually uh, fabric flowers that Trisha, a little shabby chic. Hi, Trisha. Thank you very much for these little fabric flowers. And I glittered them also. And then the back, because, you know, these are molds that I made. The back is not perfect. So I didn't know what to do with the back. I used the uh, eyelash trim for hanger. And what I did is I used the cheapest or the most inexpensive lace from Walmart and just layered it and put that in on the back because I didn't want to uh, print another picture or anything like that. So what do you guys think? So this is one of them. This is another one I made. And this is the back again, you see? The back's not very attractive, so I'm gonna have to hang them where nobody can see the back. This is another one. There is Santa Claus. St. Nicholas Day is on the 6th. Is that today? I have to look on my calendar. Now that I'm not working no more, I don't know the dates. But if it is today, I have to do the St. Nicholas this evening, the surprise. There's another one. And these little flowers, these little tiny ones, I got from Trisha also. Aren't they sweet? They were perfect for these little frames. And there's one. Some of the images I did just in sepia. Is that what it's called? Sepia? And some are in color. And there's one. So basically you get the idea. I did, uh, there's four more and that's what I did. So... This one's a little thick in here, but you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. They're fillers for the tree, and it's homemade. So, 
I'm very lucky actually. I've got nothing down from the attic. I hate, hate going to the attic. And I didn't use anything from last year that I had to get from the attic. So I'm very, very lucky. Also, what I did, and I saw this from, um, for you, for you, Marlene One. Oh, she does such fabulous work. All so shabby chic and so beautiful and elegant. And I tried to scrap lift this idea. Hers is much prettier, of course. But um, I used this little egg cup. And I put the little Christmas tree in there. So what I did is uh, this egg cup and this... I got from Trisha also. Thank you very much, Trisha. It matched perfectly my egg cup. So I glued on the little star snowflake on the bottom. I put some filler in the top and then put some big pearls where you can see the moss. And then I put the little tree in there. And this is a homemade mold also. And uh, this is some lace I had in my stash. And I just made a bow. And then Trisha's little earring. It, 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 it's the perfect color for that. So this is one of them I made. And uh, this is the other one. And I didn't have another little earring like that. So I used this little bling. And there I put a little cherub. Oh, hello, May. It's my cat. Here's a little cheer up. And of course, I bleached. The trees were green. And I bleached them. And they don't come out white, white. They come out in this dirty cream, which actually I like very much. And uh, the same lace I used. Everything's the same except the top. And I love the one with the birdie. Of course, I'm birdie crazy. In my house, you'd think you were at Alfred Hitchcock movie because I have so many birds in my house. Not real ones. <laughs> my husband's allergic, so I can't have real ones. So this is what I did this morning. So I'm going to hang these on the tree, the little frames. And maybe I get to, because this is it. I think I'm done uh, now with decorating. And then I can maybe film the my little tree, and I'll show it to you. Okay? So you all be nice and good to each other. Thank you for watching my channel and for supporting me. And you all have a great day. And be safe in this weather. I don't know. Everybody lives somewhere, and I hope... I hope you all are not too affected by this bad weather. Just be safe. Okay, bye-bye now.